right, so just to give you guys a background, um, I'm Brendan, this is Jessica, this is Megan. Our company was Fresh Madison Market, and we got the opportunity to get really involved with this company, and we really focused on the development part with the exploration of a new venture. So we're about to throw a ton of information at you, um, so just grab what you can, but we're going to go over the overview of Fresh, and then we're really going to dive into that new venture. So talking about Fresh, the owner and uh, CEO right now is Jeff Maurer. He started it with a partner, but he has 35 years of industry experience. So he was really immersed in the industry, left his old job, and decided to start Fresh Madison. Uh, they had difficulty getting funded, but it started in January 2010, and it's exceeded all their expectations so far. They were able to pay off their leases early, and they're really a profitable company. Um, so basically, the opportunity, I'm sure you're all familiar, but they are a full-service grocery store. Just to give you an example where they're at, this is uh, their current year to date only, so through the end of September, I believe, and they have over 10 million in sales. They're looking to expand to new schools in the Big Ten, as well as other college campuses, and then a big area for expansion would be this new venture, which isn't a duplicate of Fresh, but we'll talk about it more later. It's basically a hybrid market deli that'd be located on the Capitol Square, um, offering a variety of products. So for their operations, they really use a lot of local product sourcing and are really involved in the community. They have options like virtual online shopping and free delivery, as well as 18,000 square feet of space on University Avenue. And we, as college students, are the target for this market. Um, there's over 41,000 of us on this campus between the ages of 18 and 25, and athletic events bring in 1.4 million people annually. And Fresh really looks into student needs, so there's um, like gluten-free, there's uh, vegan foods um, for religious observances, organic, strategy obviously is to get connected with students on campus and they have a really specified target market which obviously is us and they offer uh, they want to continue to offer a constant supply of fresh produce and products and just kind of keep people um, interested in the healthy products and um, they have relatively weak competition at least that offers all the things that fresh Madison does as convenience quality um, location So for the financial analysis of Fresh, we basically just pulled up all their financials. We saw they were really good, so we pulled all the ratios in. I know this is a lot to look at, but if you look in this column, you can see for most of these ratios and for what is generally true about them is that they are in the top of their industry. So they are very efficiently managed. They're in the top 50 or top 10% for a lot of this stuff, um, especially in asset efficiency and profitability. One area of weakness was in the liquidity ratios, which means they might not be able to convert what they have into cash as quick as they would like. Um, that continued, like I said, their top 25%. Industry specific, the most, the strongest measures um, that have to do with their business are that inventory turnover in grocery that helps them stay fresh, keep the products on shelf that are gonna be the most relevant for consumers, and that return on sales. Grocery stores relatively have really low margins, but Fresh has managed to maintain a 6.5% margin. Like I said, getting that liquidity under control. Collection period could be lower than that cash conversion cycle could also be decreased. Um, in grocery stores are sometimes able to actually have negative. So now we're going to talk about the Capital Square Venture Analysis, which we spent a lot of time on, and dive right into that. Um, the market potential for this new venture is higher income working professionals who are around the Capital Square, of which there are over 33,000. Um, these people need really convenient, healthy, quality food and groceries, especially during the lunch hour. And the new venture can provide that plus breakfast, staple groceries, wine pairings, cheese. So they're actually taking over um, a large portion of the U United, or U.S. Bank building. Um, it, they're taking over what was a restaurant, a salon, and a convenience store, so they have a lot of area of space. They're trying to maintain the same culture as Fresh had before, so they are bringing over some of their important um, employees to kind of bring the culture and keep things clean and managed, and they will um, be have shorter hours. And then, so we walked around the Capitol just to kind of see who the main competitors were. Um, there's a lot of different options that people can eat during lunch, during the week, so you can have candy carts. Cafes have sit-down convenience grocery stores, grab-and-go, high-end sit-down. All of these have advantages and disadvantages, but what we saw was that this new venture can provide that none of them can, is that they can provide high quality, quick, which is a big thing that all the employees wanted around the Capitol, fresh, healthy, so, um, and re relatively reasonably priced, which um, 
none of these other places had all those things combined, so we think it's a great location for some buildings. So for the financial projections, we had some difficulty with this because this is still one of the things that the owner, Jeff Maurer, really wanted us to look at was, should I pursue this since he hasn't decided 100% or not? So what we did was we took a unique process where we decided since he can manage fresh so effectively, we're gonna try to make some subjective analysis of the new venture and create our own sales projections. So we started by looking at the industry just to get a feel for what their numbers could look like. And then what we did was we took Fresh's, Fresh Madison's actual 2011 sales. As you can see, the numbers over there broken into categories. And then we um, estimated a multiplier based on some of our subjective analysis to those sales to determine the new venture projections. And the cool thing about this is that we did this before we actually looked at the industry profile and the number we came up with was incredibly close to what the industry average is in terms of sales. So that turned into our recommendation is this, this can be profitable. Um, you can't have this, this uh, high revenue. And in turn, we assume some of the same gross margins that Fresh has on their products to these. And obviously, um, you're gonna get a lower um, total uh, gross profit because it's gonna be fewer sales. But we also applied some of the things we knew, like we knew the new place rent, we applied that to expenses. And we applied some of the salary and other expenses as a percentage of um, the space and the size of the business to the new venture. So as you can see, very profitable after, um, this is not assuming uh, startup costs or anything. They have a slightly lower margin than Fresh, but like I said, it's still um, in the green. So we said our recommendation was go ahead with the new venture. Okay, so other thing that was really important to, uh, obviously Jeff was come up with a name, so we came up with three names that we kind of like, so you can see them to the right, Fresh to Go, Fresh is Fresh, and Fresh Next Door. We thought that kind of portrayed some of the values that Jeff was looking for in the new venture, and we also thought it was really important to connect Fresh and the new venture together. And then another really important recommendation that we came up with was ordering online and just delivering it to the office, because people aren't always going to be wanting to walk out in the cold, and they want it quick and convenient. So finally, we wanted to give them one recommendation for Fresh. So that was really just managing that um, liquidity. 